The Gruffalo's Child. This book was given to Flourish by a very special friend of Flourish whose name is Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever step foot in the deep, dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big, bad mouse could come after you. I met him once, the Gruffalo said. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and scratched his head. The big bad mouse is terribly strong. Are you strong? Show me your muscles. Good work. And his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire. And his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. One snowy night when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave. So she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. And into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. Aha! Oh! oh a trail in the snow. Whose is this trail and where does it go? A tail poked out of the long pile house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? Do you see the tail? I wonder whose it is. Out slid the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the gruffalo's child. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, marks in the snow. Whose are these claw marks and where do they go? Two eyes gleam deep out of the treetop house. Could these be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Do you see the eyes looking down? Down through the creature, his tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. Ooh, not I, but he's somewhere nearby eating gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the gruffalo's child. Ah, oh, oh, a track in the snow. Whose is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? Do you see? There's a little nose peeping out. Out slunk the creature. His eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't sca scaly and his whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under the tree drinking gruffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the gruffalo's child as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. But here comes a little one out of his house. What's the mouse doing? Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. You'll taste as good as a midnight feast. Wait, said the mouse, before you eat, there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet. If you let me hop on a hazel twig, I'll beckon my friend as bad and big. The Gruffalo's child unclenched her fist, the big bad mouse, so he does exist. The mouse hopped into the hazel tree. He beckoned and said, just wait and see. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. See the moon up here? A terrible shadow fell on the ground. Who is this creature so big, bad and strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous and over his shoulder. He carries a nut as big as a boulder. Do you see the shadow on the ground? The big bad mouse, yelled the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Ah, 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 oh, prints in the snow. Whose are these footprints and where do they go? The footprints led to the Gruffalo's cave where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. 
and the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. The end. <laughs>